In this video, I'm going to show you how to insert, update, and delete with your database in your Flask app using Flask SQL Alchemy. So here I have a simple model, a user model, and it has a name, email, and date join column. So what I'll do to work with this is I'll start a Python REPL and I'll import DB and user for my app. And then I'll just do db.createAll to create everything in my uh, database. I'm using a SQLite database here. And I'll do user.query.all just to show you that there's nothing in the database right now. So the first thing I want to do is I want to insert into the database. So to do this, you're basically instantiating your user model. So you take the user class and then you just instantiate it with the field. So name equals Anthony and email equals Anthony at prettyprinted.com. Notice that I'm not using ID or date join. That's because both of those fields can be generated automatically. ID is generated by the database and date joined is given a default of datetime.utc now. So what I'll do is I'll do db.session.add the Anthony object, and that will add it to the database. And then db.session.commit will save everything. Finally, I'll do user.query.all, and now we see that I have the one user in the database. And if I do anthony.datejoined, I can see the date object that has the date that uh, this user joined, which is the day that I'm recording this video. So if I don't want to use the default date, I can also just do it manually. So what I'll do is I'll import a uh, date from date time, and then I can create a new user. I'll call her Sarah. And the first part will be just like Anthony. So I'll supply a name in an email. But then after that, I can pass in the date joined. So instead of being generated automatically, like it was for Anthony, it will be it will take on the value that I pass into the date joined field myself. So let's say date joined is going to be January 3rd of 2020. So then I can add the Sarah object to the database and then I can do db.session.commit to save that to the database. So adding puts it in the database, but temporarily, and then it finally gets saved when I call db.session.commit. So now if I do that query before user.query.all, now I see that there are two users in the database, Anthony and Sarah. So now if I wanna update something, what I can do is I can query the database for a particular thing. So in this case, I want to query for the Anthony object again. So to do that, I can do user.query.filterby, and then I can pass in something that I want to filter by. So in this case, the name. So I'm looking for any row that has the name Anthony and I want the first result. So it should be unique. So it's the only result. So when I then view what Anthony contains, I see the user Anthony at prettyprinted.com. And if I want to change the email, I can. So I can do anthony.email and I can change it to anything that I want. So let's say anthony at gmail.com. So because I made a change and I want to save it, I'll do db.session.commit. And now when I perform the query and get all the users in the database, instead of seeing anthony at prettyprinted.com, I see Anthony at gmail.com. By the way, if you made it this far in the video, you're probably really interested in Flask SQL Alchemy. So I've created a free course called Flask SQL Alchemy Basics where I cover it in much more depth. So if you want to join this course, just go to my website, prettyprinted.com slash Flask SQL. I'll put a link in the description below as well if you want to click there. Now back to the video. And the last thing I want to show you is how to delete something from the database. So I have these two users in the database and let's say I want to get rid of one. So I'll delete Sarah. So the first thing I'll do is I'll query for Sarah using the same technique as before. So filter by name equals Sarah and the first object should be the only one. And then what I want to do is I want to call db.session.delete and just pass in Sarah. And then I'll save this because I made a change to the database. So session.commit. And then finally, I'll do that query again. So user.query.all. And now we see that Anthony is the only user in the database. And if I open up my file in the database browser that I have here, I see once again that Anthony is the only row in the database because Sarah is no longer there. So this of course is pretty simple, but this is actually what you'll be doing a lot of the time when you're working with Flask SQL Alchemy. So if you want to learn how to go beyond this, check out my other videos on Flask SQL Alchemy, like how to write basic queries.